In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add control bones to the legs of a simple character rig. The starting point for this tutorial is the file made in the previous tutorial on constraints. You can make the file yourself or download it from my website. To make control bones for the legs, go into edit mode, zoom back with the mouse wheel, Select the tail of the lower leg bone, hold down shift and press E to extrude with mirror, press Z for the Z axis, minus 1 and enter. Name the bones. Target left. and target right. The bone is on the character's right hand side. At the moment the control bones are children of the lower leg bones. We need to clear that. Hold down Alt, press P and clear parent. To make the control bone the target of the lower leg bone, go into pose mode Select the lower leg bone and click the Bone Constraints button. There we see the inverse kinematics constraint that we added to the lower leg. In the target field, select the armature. When you select the armature, you can select a bone from the armature. Select the target left bone. Select the other lower leg bone and repeat. Set the target to the armature and the target bone to target right. To pose the leg, we now use the control bone, select it, press G for grab, and we can pose the leg as before. Notice that the lower leg bone always points to the head of the control bone. Select the backbone and press G for grab, and we get a nice jump with knees bending, a nice landing and takeoff. But now we have another problem. Because we cleared the parent of the control bones, they are not linked to the backbone. So when we move the backbone, the control bones won't follow. The only way to move the entire character is to select the backbone, hold down shift and select both control bones. Now if we press G for grab, we can move the entire rig. In a more complex rig, there would be many control bones and it wouldn't be practical to select them all. If we add a new bone and make it the parent of the backbone and all the control bones, then we can use the new bone to move the entire rig. To add the new bone, go into edit mode, move the 3D cursor in the front view, add single bone, Select the new bone, click the Bone Properties button and call the new bone Root. It will be the parent of everything. Set the X location of the head of the bone to 0. Set the Z location to minus 4.9. Set the X location of the tail of the bone to 0. The Y location to 2 and the Z location to minus 4.9 and that will place the new bone at ground level between the legs. To make the new bone the parent, select one of the leg control bones, hold down shift and select the other, still holding shift select the backbone, still holding shift select the root bone last, hold down control press P and click keep offset. Go into pose mode, select the root bone, press G for grab and now we can move the entire rig. That's the end of the tutorial. In the next tutorial I'll show you how to make an animation of the character jumping. I'll put the start file and the end file for you to download at my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe click the link or the stickman. Thanks for watching and goodbye.